Humans have been a very mixed bag in, from an ethical perspective of the only creature that really scientifically optimized torture to have the most subjective suffering mm -hmm. possible, but also the only one that will sacrifice itself for other species and that can make the vow of the bodhisattva, right? Yes. Our abstraction allowed us to search a very wide search space. Yes. Yes. So the most kind of beautiful numinous stuff and the most kind of horrific stuff. What I'm arguing is that that mixed bag that we have been with exponential tech near planetary boundaries self-terminates and that we don't get to keep being that mixed bag. Because if you say, how well have we stewarded our power historically? If you ask the other species that we inhabited the planet with or the lower classes within civilizations or whatever, that mixed bag stewarded it pretty poorly in many places. But we couldn't split atoms and we couldn't change genomes and we couldn't make AI. AI. So the, the question comes, given the amount of technological power that we have and that we're rapidly getting, and given how much that power has already eroded the biosphere to the point of tipping points, and given how distributed all the people are and there is no one king of the world, I'm not saying we would want it, who can make choices, can we imagine a humanity that has the wisdom to steward that power reasonably well? And we have an incredibly ennobling obligation, which is to make sure that we do help that good progress in the world. So on various levels to do with how we dispose our attention, the role we play in repair, the role we play in furthering and bringing about the divine, we can influence things. And we may not be able to stop certain specific wars or whatever, but that's never been part of what is imaged here. Part of what is imaged here is that we, like it or not, are gathered up into something that we have to respond to. And I believe that the reason for the being life at all, and especially human life, is because whatever it is that is the ground of being needs response. It needs that response. I want people to be able to fall in love with all of these dimensions of being again. The way you overcome a powerful motivation is with another powerful motivation. If we can get people to fall in love again with being, within, between, and beyond, we can break the game theoretic. This is what Christianity did in the Roman Empire. Here is a new way, agape is a way in which you can love yourself. And it's not a hedonistic, egocentric, power love. Here's how we can love each other. And here's how we can love God. We ought to be careful not to think that because of a frailty of the human spirit, we, we must find meaning in a basically meaningless cosmos. We don't have to sort of cheer ourselves up by painting pretty pictures on the walls of our, of our hermetically sealed cell. I reject that completely, and I imagine you do too. In, indeed, we are contacting something which is real, and I actually think that those values and purpose are, are essential to the cosmos. They're not things we made up. We probably all agree that all of the religions have different ways of interpreting them, but you could say that there might be certain underlying structures they all have to have mm -hmm. to orient the human adequately. There's almost like a meta-metaphysics that is necessary. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Where does it get the relationship of the one and the many? Does it get the relationship of the determined and the free? Does it get the, the, inner, the outer? Yes. All of those things. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it might be that those meta-dynamics have both the capability of giving rise to new philosophic inquiries as well as reifying the versions of the existing ones exactly. that are uh, capable of being in harmonious relationship with the other ones and capable of being able to understand and steward the power of our technology well, which mm -hmm. I would say if if a religion doesn't do that, it's not adequate for yes. the purpose of being able to orient humans in the world today to steward the world. You almost sung that and it was beautiful.